sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Yo guys, we're back! Today we've got Charlie XCX. I don't know much about Charlie, but what I do know is that I saw her at a festival last year. Her performance was amazing. She had so much energy and she just like, she killed it. I was so surprised at how into it she got. And she was such an awesome performer, which is why I'm so excited to listen to this today. So she released an album and we're gonna listen to it. It's called How I'm Feeling Now. And a lot of people like this album, but I low-key didn't know she dropped this album. We're gonna start with Pink Diamond. Oh shit, yeah. What? What is happening? What, Charlie? I'm so. I'm like mesmerized. I've never heard anything like this before, and I don't know how I'm meant to like react to this. <laughs> Now we got forever. What? <laughs> what was that? What genre is this? I'm so confused. I swear this, this instrumental was a bit too much for my head. Not gonna lie, I'm not loving it, but I'm so intrigued because I've never fucking heard this before in my entire life and I'm just like, what? Like, what is happening? I don't, I'm trying to understand it in my head, but it's not adding up. Now we got claws. Okay. What is this genre? I have to Google it. Electro pop. Okay. <laughs> News to me. <laughs> also, I went into this album thinking it was just going to be like a pop album. I didn't know it was going to be fucking electro pop. Like, I'm as surprised as you guys probably are. Like, I'm just. <laughs> I think it works like so perfectly for her voice though. So perfect. Because she still sounds British in her voice and I love when artists keep that. Because usually when British people sing, they turn like full American. It's so fucking weird. But some people don't. Like Louis Tomlinson, for example, he does definitely does not. Um, she doesn't and I think it's really cool. Now we've got Seven Years with BJ Burton. Okay. I don't feel like this song is anything special, but I think it sounds good. Like, it suits her. And I'm still just shook over the fact of, like, the other songs I've heard already. I'm just like, what? Now we've got Detonate. I feel like an idiot now. Like, why was I expecting a pop album? <laughs> These lyrics are fucking funny. Yeah, that was just a little... Detonate was a little too, like, ele electronic for me. Just because I don't really listen to this kind of music. But, like, I'm very, um, skeptical. And I'm, like, I'm intrigued by this sound. I think it's so, like, it's so different for me. Now we've got Enemy. Okay. Enemy's, like, one of my favourite ones, I think. Because it's, it's the most poppy... I feel not too much auto tune on her voice. Like it sounds kind of, it sounds cool, you know. Now we got. I finally understand. Oh. It's definitely one of the coolest sounding albums we've heard this year. I think. Like it's pretty cool. It's just very different, and it's not what I'm used to, which is why I like it. Mm, she sounds so British in this. I love her. Now we got C2. What is this? C2.0? Oh. It's like, how do you come up with this concept? How do you think of these sounds? I just can't understand it. That's why I like it, because these people do it for me and I just listen. I'm like, uh huh. The start of it really did creep me out. I'm gonna be honest. It really did. It sounded like. Someone put a weird microphone in the Chucky doll and he was chasing me throughout the night like I did not like that feeling it was not fun But I like the middle when she comes in and she starts singing she sounds really good So that's a plus I guess but like I'm out of my comfort zone today I am but I fucking like the feeling it's like a it's like a scared nauseous kind of feeling but it's fun because 
you know, we get to listen to fun shit. Now we got Party For You. I'd love to see her again live. She was, I actually can't like erase a memory from my brain of how crazy she was live. Like it was so cool. This is an experience. Party For You definitely surprised me. The start was like pretty chill and pretty mellow. And I thought it was just gonna be like the whole song. So I was getting like really, I just like wasn't getting excited for it. And then it switched up at the end and I really liked that. Cause I was like, whoa, new sound, same song. Now we got anthems. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so much is happening. But this is a cool song. Anthems is so like upbeat, fun, gets you hyped. Like I really, Anthems has to be my favorite I think so far. And that's like, that's saying something, you know? Lucky last, we got Visions. Where's the drop? Like midway through. And we're going up now. What? I'm gonna get a headache in five minutes. <laughs> Listen to these songs one after the other. My head is just spinning and it's like, what is happening? Pick a tune and stick with it. It's like strobe lights in my head are going off. The thing I like about Visions is that there was this massive build up throughout like uh, and then at the very uh, midway point, halfway through the song, she just drops it down and then just goes into that whack as fuck instrumental. But it's like usually it's like within the first minute you're already at the chorus, you go peak and then you it goes down to like a drop and then it happens like two or three times again. But she kept it the whole song like she kept me on my toes and she just drops it in the middle and now it drops down to the end of the song and I think that's so good. There's like one drop in the song as opposed to three mediocre ones. There's like one really big one and that's really cool that she did that. Well, that was the album. I'm still in shock at what we just listened to, but it was really cool to experience something kind of new, kind of different. Really enjoy the album. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.